So when you come to the nursery, you will tour the seed lab, the seed extractory. Um, in the seed lab, we are dealing with all the cones that are shipped in from the forest. Uh, in the cones are the seeds that we use to grow the seedlings. So um, in northern Idaho and uh, parts of Montana, we have western white pine. We have Engelmann spruce cones. Lodgepole pine, western larch, ponderosa pine, which you pro guys probably have over in Spokane quite a bit, and Douglas fir. So when we receive the cones, they, they come in bushel bags, um, and we put them on a kiln to heat the cones so they will flare, the cone scales will flare so that we can shake the seeds out. Um, these are seeds from a ponderosa pine. There's about a little over two pounds of seed here. There's probably about 9,000 seeds per pound. So that's about, if I do the math right, that's about a little over 18,000 seeds in this one package. Okay. So once we have the seeds extracted, then we test them. And the way we test them is we put them in a little mesh bag, uh, we soak them, and then put them in a, a refrigerator for 30 days, and then we lay them out in this germination tray, and we put 100 seeds in there. We place them in a seed germinator, and every seven days we count how many seeds germinate. And the way that seeds germinate, you will see uh, on this side, the, the radical or the root will come out and it'll start to push the seed up and we call that one successful germination. Okay, this is a, a display of uh, from start to uh, seed to seedling, uh, what the process looks like, okay? Um, we also clean white bark pine. This is a high elevation pine. Um, it's a five needle pine and it's up around uh, over 6,000 feet up to about 10,000 feet in our region. Um, these are the seeds. They're really big. Uh, grizzly bears like to eat these. Um, and Clark's Nutcracker uh, is a bird that eats these and actually spread these, um, plants them in the ground or caches them, and comes back to them later and eats them, kind of like squirrels. Um, because they forget where they put them all, um, seedlings develop from these and they're actually reforesting by doing this activity. Um, we also have a digital x-ray machine. It's kind of like the digital camera on your cell phone. We can take a picture of the seed and um, determine whether how, how um, viable it is or how good it is. Um, a seed, when it's when it's good, we'll show up pure white on the, um, on the x-ray, uh, and you can see uh, the tissue surrounding the seed and the embryo down the center of the seed, and, and it's in a little cavity, and if that's filling that cavity, that seed is fully mature, okay? So we can also look at seed and determine that um, when we're running through our seed cleaning equipment, whether we have our settings correctly. These are all hollow seeds. Um, these probably came out of one of the shoots on our equipment that uh, is uh, dispelling all the, all the lighter or the hollow seeds. And uh, this x-ray was taken to show that, um, uh, yes, we have our settings correct, and none of these seeds will actually germinate a seedling. Okay. Uh, we have, let me see what else we have here. So we have different size uh, seeds. I like these because they're really big and you can see a lot of detail on them.
Okay. Um, finally, and I know everybody struggles with this every year uh, in the springtime, we collect pollen uh, from the field from selected trees in our uh, tree improvement program. And we use this pollen to uh, make controlled crosses with other uh, parents. We do that with a, a little squeeze bulb. We put a, a pollination bag over the uh, conelets uh, or the cone flowers, and the cone flowers look like miniature cones on the trees. And then we uh, seal that so no other pollen can pollinate that flower. And then we come in with a set pollen, and this is a, a, a hypodermic needle. Um, we take this off, do a little squeeze in the pollen bag, shake it up, and that will pollinate the flowers, and then we can uh, advance the genetics of that individual cross for superior growth or disease resistance. So, um, some people are allergic to tree pollen. Um, if I dropped this, we would find out who was allergic to tree pollen. Um, there's quite a lot. There's about 160 grams of pollen in this right now. These are some of the other things you'll see at the nursery. Mm -hmm.